there's always been an awareness from my generation about this need to move away from fossil fuels and that's been something that has I think grown and there's definitely been a, a groundswell of understanding around that and certainly I grew up with stories about the Amazon rainforests and uh, you know very visual uh, imagery around the, the damage and devastation so I think it's now transitioning into an understanding that this isn't something that's happening in remote rainforests actually this is something that we can affect change with and actually our behaviours and our consumer habits actually have a huge and important part of this to play so from from my perspective, I think this has been a, an evolving situation about how government absolutely has to take a, a, a lead on this, but also as individuals, there's lots of incremental changes that we can make. And I think there's been some fabulous campaigns actually around, both, both locally in terms of beach buddies and plastic busters. I think there's been some real positive work that has made people realize just how the impact is actually happening here on our island, but also how we can be part of the positive change change. Um, in regard to renewable energy, I think the, the talk about electric cars has really driven that change and all of those things will just make people start to think a little bit more about what we can do. Um, you know, we see the wind farms, <laughs> I think you stand anywhere in Douglas East pretty much and you can see the wind farms and it's looking at how we can embrace that technology on the island and make that more accessible and, and utilise our natural resource. You know, we, we certainly have plenty of wind on the island <laughs> and we also have quite a bit of sunshine, apparently more in the north, um, but it, it, it's a shame not to capture that and then utilise that as a positive. Change tomorrow, today.